Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. I'm going to be doing the tutorial on how to use split and split body with Design Spark mechanical. We'll go ahead and load up. I'm using the new version 6.0. Not really much of a difference, 2.5, but uh, not any that I can see offhand. So we'll go ahead and go uh, File New, create a new design, and then go ahead and click here on the I icon or V on the keyboard. We'll take you to the plan view, and then we'll go ahead and maximize by clicking this icon up here. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a square, and then we're going to click over here. Select this Define from Center, make sure that's checked on, and then we're just going to draw a square. And let's just do this 50 and then hit tab to go to the next area and hit 50 and then hit enter. So we have a 50 by 50 millimeter square. So now we're going to go pull. Select pull and then we're going to come over here to spin. And we'll spin this just a little bit. Go ahead and cl click off of it and then click on. And then go to pull. And then we'll just pull this one up. And then we'll do 50 as well. So type 50 there. So we basically we have a 50 by 50 by 50 cube. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go here to the uh, top view. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is show you how to use the, there's two, two of these. There's a split body, and then there's a split. Now what split does, let's go to the isometric view. Go to isometric view, do control minus to zoom out one. Okay, now we're gonna go to the split. Now what the split does, is you click on a face and then you have these options over here. So this one is going to be your uh, select UV cutter point. So that's going to allow you to select multiple points. And then you can go ahead and specify, you see the dimensions over there if you want it to be precise. Like if you wanted to put that right in the middle, you would just type 25. And then if you wanted to go in the middle, right in the middle, you hit tab, go down to the next one, and then you type 25 since we have a 50 by 50 cube. And then you hit enter. Now you have this right in the center. So how why you would use that is if you need four pieces. So if you wanted to scroll down on, if you wanted to pull down on that one, maybe you wanted to pull up on this one. And maybe you wanted to adjust these a little bit, adjust this one a little bit. So now you have this kind of a shape, which comes in handy. Um, you know, it does quick work of uh, splitting the bodies and then using them. So let's go ahead and go to pull. Let's pull this out a little bit more. So we have a little bit more to work with here. Now the difference between split and split body is split body just puts kind of a line on the on the on the uh, square and then allows you to manipulate each one of the dif different parts. Now the split body, the split body is going to go, you will select it, and then you will select a plane and it will split it for you. So I see how we have two parts now. So let's go ahead and now you, over here you have solid and then you have solid one. So now we can move these independently of each other of each other this one too so that was split body that's splitting the part right in half let's go ahead and undo that get back to here and then we'll go ahead and do that again so what you would do click on split body then you would go ahead and click here and then click a face that you want to split it and then you have to go move it until you get this little gray this little gray box here, that little gray, gray plane that you see, and click. And that's going to actually split the part. So let's undo that again. Undo. Get to here. Let's go back to pull. Pull this out a little bit. Now what you can do is split it this way. We split it like that. So you could go ahead and go up here, split body. Let's go ahead and select this right here. And then click uh, this one here. Okay, so see what it did? It cut right there where we selected. So now we got two parts. We got a solid there. Let's go ahead and move that. And then we have a solid here. 
So this works great if you uh, want to have two parts and you know where you want to split the part. You just draw one and then you cut it up to, into two. Okay, now we have two parts. Now we have parts over here. So you could rename these. Um, you know, you could click a couple of clicks till that changes to blue and then you could just call this right right side and then you click on this one two clicks till it changes to blue like that and then just type in left side okay so now you have two parts so if you wanted to continue to work on this you could go split uh, click let's click here and then um, the the one down below this is a select perpendicular cutter point this is We'll do uh, an angled line like this. Actually, undo that. This is going to let you put a line in there. A line here. So if you wanted to have a piece in the middle there, you could do that. Put it there, and then now you have two piece, two parts here. All right. Now you got two parts there. Now you go ahead and go to the split body or just to split and then you click here. Now you have this one here. This is a select two cutter points. Let's click that one there and now you could do an angled cut if you want. Go to the corner there. Now you have a angled piece. Pull that back a little bit. Now you have this kind of part here. You pull, let's pull a little bit here, make this a little thicker. So now you see where we're going with this. So we basically created this from a 50 by 50 millimeter cube, 50 millimeters tall. Uh, we used our split to split up the different uh, areas to pull and to pull up and to pull down. And then we use split body to cut this in half. Now we have two parts uh, that we can work with. Um, that's about all that there is to know about split and split body. Okay, we went over this one, went over this one here, and then this is the two point. Select two cutter points. This is a perpendicular cutter point, and this is the one that gets you multiple cutter points. So if we wanted to use that, we could click there, click on this, click here, change it. I think it's in, still in the perpendicular mode. Let's undo that. Let's go back to this one. Okay, and then do this again. So this is going to get your multiple points here. So you know, we could click in the middle there and then go to pull. Now you have a whole bunch more of these pieces. I have something like this. Okay, I think that's pretty much all I can really talk about with the uh, split body and split. There's really not much more to it. Um, like I said, you do split body. You're going to select the piece that you want to cut. Then you're going to select the face that you want to cut. And you want to make sure it's going to turn to a little gray plane. When it does that, you know you're in the right spot. So if you wanted to cut there, you would cut like that. If you wanted to cut that, you'd cut there. This one will cut in the middle there. Uh, this one will cut at an angle. So let's click that one. Let's see what we got. So now we have right side, left side, our originals. And then we have a solid there. And then we have a left, left side one. So let's move that down. So now now you have a part like this, so you have multiple pieces, uh, one, two, and three. So this works perfect if you wanted to do that. So that's a tutorial on how to use split body and how to use split in Design Spark Mechanical. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, tutorial and you got some useful tips out of this video. Thanks again for watching.